Hello, I'm Joshua, a business analytics student in the School of Computing. In NUS, we are surrounded by so many opportunities for growth and learning. Everyone makes use of their time very differently, and that's the beauty of being in university. However, in the pursuit of personal success, there are many setbacks. I've seen some friends become so obsessed with pursuing their goals that they become dejected when things don't go according to plan. At the same time, I've seen seniors stay happy in the face of failure and rejection. Why is it that some people are able to stay happy despite all of their challenges? I realize that happiness can be a choice. So how do we cultivate happiness? Here's what I think. Number 1. Focus on what you can control. Some of us were hoping to secure a good job after graduation. Others were looking forward to a semester abroad. But things often don't go according to plan. We can't change the fact that COVID-19 impacted our economy and our lives. But we can change what we do about it. Give yourself time to process your disappointment. And then after a few days, start thinking about the things you can control. Whether it's preparing differently for the next interview, trying a new studying method, or even planning a different strategy altogether. Number 2. Purposefully play the long game. Being rejected from a dream job is disappointing, but not achieving a goal today does not mean it can't be achieved tomorrow. Don't be so hard on yourself. Instead of interpreting setbacks as, I failed, reframe the situation to, I have not achieved my goal yet. Identify strategies that can help you get where you want in the future. For example, if COVID has caused you to lose out on your dream internship or job, why not use the time to build your portfolio in other ways? You could build your own website and learn programming skills along the way, or get involved in community projects that let you hone your existing skills. All these experiences will add up and make you a better candidate when the economy picks up. Number 3. Take in the good. It's natural to see the negative around us and therefore it's extremely important to pause and consciously take in the good. That means spending time in quiet reflection and making notes of the things we are grateful for. While COVID-19 has brought disruption to our plans, it's also given us more time for family, for learning and hobbies. You might be surprised by how many things you can be happy about if you train your mind to find them. Indeed, the best way to navigate unexpected circumstances is to remember that we are in control of our happiness.